Oh, well, Alex, you've experienced the euphoria of scoring a stoppage time penalty this season. Um, what was the emotion after the, the miss against um, Newcastle on Friday? Yeah, look, in an ideal world, obviously, we would have scored it, but look, these things happen. Um, can't dwell on the past. Obviously, I was extremely gutted, but look, I'm still very proud of the team, um, and we're in a, still in a really good position. We have to make sure that we're focused on tomorrow night's game against MacArthur. Would you step up again if there's a penalty tomorrow? Look, um, yes. To answer quickly, yes, I would. Um, but look, we've got other players in the team that would love to step up too. And look, at the end of the day, it's about um, whoever's confident. So how are you feeling heading into a game that uh, I guess is fairly historic in terms of what might lie at the end of it? Uh, how was the feeling in, in the team and, and in you personally? Extremely excited. Um, we're not worried about you know what happens after. We're worried about this game only. And you know, obviously, it's a massive, massive game for the for the players, for the club. But we need to make sure that we play the game and not the occasion. And I think that's really important that we just stay calm and we make sure that we focus on our performance. How do you do that? It's <laughs> a good question. Look, I think it's honestly, it's all, all it is is just making sure that we play how we've played all season. Um, we play with no pressure, no fear, because at the end of the day, we've dealt with pressure since the start. So, you know, we've exceeded expectation. Um, but for us as a group, we know now where we are. And yeah, there is pressure, but we've dealt with that pressure the whole year. So really, nothing changes. We just need to make sure that we get a good result and I'm positive that we will. Some familiar faces on the MacArthur side. Um, your old mates, Uli Davila, Clayton Lewis coming back. How much are you looking forward to locking horns with those two in particular in, in midfield tomorrow night? Look, they're, they're good players um, and good friends too. Um, but look, really looking forward to it. I love playing against good players and they're both extremely good players. MacArthur are a good team and um, we just need to make sure that we're focused and that we, you know, we talk to them after the game and not during. Does it feel like, like if, you, if you're in Europe, this would be, you know, this would be it for your season, right? Last game of the year or the rest of it. But because we've got finals left, does it feel like there's a bit of a, a, a like a safety net? Like, do you feel like you've got two cracks at it and this is just the first bite of the cherry? I, supp I suppose if you look at it like that, yes. But as a group, no. Um, for us, we want to take care of business. We want to win the league. Um, so that starts tomorrow night. We need to win that game. And then what happens afterwards is a bonus. Um, obviously we are still preparing for those games too, um, high pressure, big games, but the most important thing is the next game, next training, and that's obviously training today and the game tomorrow. What are your plans for Wednesday night? Have you made them yet? No, we haven't. Um, I'm guessing, well, I'm hoping we win and then... Who cares? Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, does it, I don't know, I've been talking to ask some of the other guys, but does it feel momentum is, is with you guys this weekend? Like, things that are aligning in your favour? Yeah, you, you, you could say that. I think we've built momentum the whole year. Um, we've been blessed and lucky enough to be at the top of the table for the majority of the year. Um, but like I said, we, we're not worried about anything else. We're not worried about any other results. We're only worried about what we can do, our performance, and we can only control what we can, and that's making sure we play well tomorrow night. You know, and once the regular season finishes, it's almost like a new competition starts final footy. It, does it change your outlook? Does it change anything, those two? Because they are sort of two different competitions in a way. Yeah, look, I think we've been in finals in the past, but honestly, we've not looked past this game, and it's so hard to, and I think that's where you can get sidetracked by looking past this and looking towards finals. I think we need to finish strongly, and then you start to focus on those games. We'll have a weekend off to rest and recover, and then you start to prepare for those games. But, you know, the messaging's been clear, and it's been the same all week. Focus on this game, and then we'll focus on what we need to after that. Because you guys can't finish any worse than second, is there sort of a switch in mentality, just throw everything at this game and go for the win? Yeah, we'll be throwing everything at this game for sure. Um, we, yeah, like you said, we know we can only finish at, at worst second, but for us, that's not good enough. We want to win the league, and we've put ourselves in a great position to do that. Um, and look, if it happens, you know, we'll be partying for a few days but look and if it doesn't we'll still be proud I think I'm so proud of this group I'm so proud of the club everyone's done extremely well um, and if it happens it happens and if it doesn't then we roll on and we've got another final to play to play for in a couple weeks time. Yeah, you sort of talked about it there like there will obviously be disappointment if you don't win the league but there's a whole another 
competition, you guys want to win the, the championship as well. How do you sort of keep grounded knowing that that goal is still there? Well, you said it. I think we need to make sure that after this game we, we rest well, we, um, we reflect on what's happened, and then we focus entirely on whoever we're versing in those semi finals. Um, you know, we've still got a lot of footy to play, and hopefully, our last game will be in that grand final in a, you know, towards the end of May. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. But like I said, honestly, the main focus, the only focus is tomorrow's game against MacArthur. And then uh, whatever happens after that is all a bonus. Has Chiefy's message changed for this game or has it sort of stayed the same as what he's been preaching all season? No, Chief, Chiefy's messaging has always been the same, especially for this game. I think, like I said before, if you get sidetracked about, you know, other results and you know, the finals to come, I think, you know, it can take your focus away from the most important thing, and that's tomorrow night. So messaging's been the same. We're going to play the same way, and the boys are excited. We're buzzing, so, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And just finally, Central Coast will be playing at the same time as you guys. Are you a player who would want to know what's going on in that game, or not at all? No, not, to be honest, no. Um, I really don't think it makes a difference for me personally. Um, like I said, the only thing that... I'm thinking about is winning tomorrow night and you know there might be other players that might tell you different but for me as long as we win this game then we give ourselves the best opportunity to win the league and then whatever happens happens we can't control and worry about what Central Coast do but we can worry about what we do and control what we do and that's win tomorrow night. The plate will be here is that added pressure or motivation? The plate will be here is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah look that's only motivation. Motivation because like you said well, like I said before, there's been pressure the whole year. You know, at the start of the year, we were, you know, tipped to be wooden spooners, and now we're fighting for it. So we've exceeded expectation. Um, so, look, only added motivation, and we want to make sure that we're walking into the changing room afterwards with it. And what do you think has been the, the key? Like, is there one thing you can put your finger on, you know, that has turned this team from a team that people tip to finish at the bottom to one that could potentially finish top? I think... Before I like, answer that question, I think the main thing for us is that, yeah, we were tipped as wooden spooners, but I think we, more than anything, the most important thing is that we believed in ourselves. Every player believed in ourselves. We knew what we could do. We knew what we were capable of. And obviously, like I said, we have exceeded expectation, but we want to win the league. You don't play in a competition to come second, to come third, to be in the finals. You play to win. And we've got that in our dressing room. We've got a good mix of young and old, experienced players, um, we've got a great balance throughout the team and it's come together really nicely so um, like I said we want to win tomorrow night and we want to win the league so that's our only focus. Have you been texting anyone in the Jets team? Have you got a message of support for them this week? <laughs> no I, I, I haven't um, they're a good bunch of lads and I'm sure they'll want to win the game it's a derby to finish out their season um, so I'm, I know that they'll want to win that game for sure um, so best of luck to them and obviously hope they win but like I said, if it doesn't happen, we can still hold our heads high and um, you know, we can walk off with you know, feeling proud and being proud.